I wanted to talk today about how many times I meet women who don't want to get their businesses started because they feel like they don't know enough, they're not far enough along in whatever it is they wanna do. Like they think, well, if I wanna talk about marketing, I'm not Amy Porterfield, and if I wanna talk about business, I'm not Marie Forleo. Marie Forleo's already out there, Amy Porterfield's already out there, like what would I have to bring to the table? There's already somebody out there doing what I'm doing, and they're doing it better, and they're, they're doing it m with more experience. And as I work with women who want to start their businesses in the very beginning stages, which is my favorite thing to do, when I work with women in the very beginning stages of their business, I realize like, yeah, they could listen to Marie Forleo, they could listen to Amy Porterfield, and they do, but they don't have Amy Porterfield at their disposal. They can't text Amy Porterfield. They can text me. We can get on the phone together and I can help them. I had four or five calls today with clients and every single one of them is the beginning stages and they all have these things that they're tweaking and I can help them. And I was like, God, I'm not, I'm not uh, as far along as some people who are in the business world, other business development coaches who are like way further along. Like, why do they want to work with me? And I was like, oh, because I'm ahead of them. And it reminded me of this experience I had when I was 28 years old. I was teaching Shakespeare. It was, I was actually a student teacher. I was very young. I was very green. And I was teaching, I had to teach Hamlet to see seniors. Now, I have nothing against Hamlet, but I had not pursued Shakespeare as an English major in college because I didn't understand Shakespeare and I didn't like it. So here I am in my first teaching job and I have to teach Hamlet. And that is a big play. Shakespeare is hard as it is, right? For, and and college, high school students are generally not that interested in it. So I had to make it like come alive for them. And I didn't know, I didn't know the play inside and out. I had to figure out how to make Hamlet appealing and accessible to high school seniors. I'm a, I'm a student teacher, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm also only 28, which is only 10 years older than they are at this point, and I looked young then. So I'm like, who am I to do this for these kids? Yikes is right. I had avoided, literally avoided it my whole life. I knew nothing about it. But what I did know was how to take something and make it um, approachable and appealing to somebody else who needed to learn it. That, that's why I became a teacher, right? And my host teacher, my mentor teacher said, you don't have to know this play inside and out to get them to learn it. You just have to be a step ahead of them. And I'll tell you what, some weeks I was a scene ahead of them and some weeks I was a whole uh, act ahead of them, but at no point was I the expert in Shakespeare. And you know what, these, these high school seniors got what they needed. We all got through Hamlet, we all learned a lot. I taught them how to access it and make it work for them. And I was never the expert in Shakespeare. And I'm still not the expert in Shakespeare. And even when I went on to teach other Shakespearean plays to my ninth graders and my 10th graders, um, I learned the plays and I got better at teaching it as I went along, but I was never like a Shakespearean scholar. I was teaching ninth grade English for God's sake. I didn't need to be a Shakespearean scholar. And so what I've realized is I don't need to be um, a business coach who has been doing this for 20 years and has a PhD in business development in order to help my clients. And I want them to know the same thing. Like they don't, you know, I was talking to somebody who wants to be a health coach today and she's like, well, who am I to do this? There's other people who are already out there doing it. Of course there are. There are people all out there doing the things we all want to do already, but they're not doing it in the way that you're going to do it with your special sauce and your language and your passion and your approach. Like you're gonna put your spin on it no matter what it is. So I put my spin on Hamlet. I was a 28, 28 year old rube and I was faking it and they got what they needed. Like we all learned Hamlet together. Um, and so I wanted to just encourage you, if you're telling yourself, I can't start my business because I don't have an MBA, I want to tell you a secret. Like MBAs are amazing, but you don't have to have an MBA to start a business. You also don't have to have your business plan completed or even started. Like for many of us, we can't get started on our business plan because there's some foundational stuff we don't know yet. Whatever it is you want to do, you don't 
have to be the expert in the field for like hundreds of years with thousands of hours in before you get started. I promise you will get there. I think about myself as a teacher in the very beginning. You guys, I was a really like mean teacher to my high school students. The shit that I made them do when I was in my first years of teaching, I would assign an essay on like Monday night and expect it to be done on Tuesday. Like I just sucked at the beginning. I was learning. And when you're starting a business or when you're starting anything, when you're starting a new job or you're starting to learn how to cook, whatever it is, you have to give yourself some grace to suck. You're gonna suck a little bit. And my friend Sarah Yaw, who's been a mentor to me for a long time and she's an author now, she said, you have to give yourself permission to suck. And the minute you do that, everything just eases up. You can't be an expert when you get started, but also not being an expert is not a reason to not get started. So please take the advice that my mentor teacher gave me, um, holy shit, 20 years ago. She said, you don't have to know the whole play to teach them what they need to know. Your potential clients, they need whatever it is that you are going to teach them. Whatever your special brand of deliciousness is, they need it. I promise you there's somebody out there who needs what you have to teach. So please don't let the fact that you're not a Shakespearean expert keep you from teaching the play. You just have to be one act ahead of them. Oh my God, Melinda Breed, I'm talking about Shakespeare. It's so funny that you showed up today. Um, you don't have to be the expert in order to get the people who are just like right behind you brought up to speed. You know more than they know. And that's all that matters. So show up for these people and get started already. And I forgot to tell you, my name is Jen Liddy and I am a business development coach for women who want to start businesses. So if that's you, let's chat. I hope this was helpful. Bye.